This section is about CSS ID selector. Remove the code from the previous section and save it as CSS ID selector.html. Then load the web page. and remove the other tab. Now, I want you to create a heading element and a paragraph element. Write whatever you want to write inside. In the heading, I'm writing heading 1 and in the paragraph, I'm writing this is paragraph 1. Now copy these two elements, paste it here and here. Change this text. It should be 2. This one should be 2 as well. We should write 3 here and 3 here. Now, if we want to apply separate styles in each of these elements, name selector will not work because if we apply style using name selector, all of the heading elements will have same style and all of the paragraph element will have same style. So what is the solution? CSS ID selector is the solution. To use ID selector, you need to assign ID to HTML elements. We use ID attribute for that and then assign a unique value to it. Remember, ID cannot start with a number. Other than that, you can use anything as ID. However, each ID should be unique in each web page. Let's assign the ID to these HTML elements. Starting with the heading one, ID equals heading one. You can take any other ID, however, I'm taking heading 1 and ID of the paragraph is parag 1. ID of heading 2 is heading 2 and ID of second paragraph is para 2. ID of the third heading is heading 3 and ID of the third paragraph is Para 3. Now create a style element in the heading. Inside this style element, we will use ID selector to apply different style to different elements. To select an element by its ID, we start with hash, then we use the unique ID. I want to start with heading 1 and the ID of heading 1 is heading 1. Copy it and paste it here. Okay, we have selected this heading 1 using ID selector. Let's apply some style here. I'm going to start with background color property and I'm going to set the color to light blue. Copy the code, reload the web page. The background of the heading one is now light blue. Now I'm going to select this heading using ID selector. We start with the hash, then this unique ID, copy it here and 
paste it. Now we can apply style to this particular heading. I'm going to use background property and this time the value is light gray. Save the code, reload the web page. The background of heading 2 is now light gray. Now I'm going to target this third heading. For that we have to start with the hash, then the unique ID that is heading 3. I'm going to use the background property again and this time the color is going to be medium sea green. Save the code, reload the web page. The background of heading 3 is now medium sea green color. I believe you have understood how ID selector works. Let's practice a little more by applying a style to the paragraph elements. To target this first paragraph using ID selector, we have to start with hash, then the ID of the paragraph 1 is para1, copy it and paste it here, then take a set of curly brackets, again I'm going to use the background color property, and let's set it to slate blue. Save the code, reload the web page. Okay, we got the slate blue color at the background of the paragraph element. Now I'm targeting the second paragraph. The ID of the second paragraph is para2. And setting the background color light gray. Save the code, reload the web page. We got light gray background in paragraph 2 element. Now targeting the third paragraph, the ID is para3 and setting the background color to light green. Save the code and reload the web page. Okay, we got light green as the background of paragraph 3. Each of these elements has different style now. That's all for this section. We will learn to use class selector in the next section.